Thursday morning. It is about 9.45 and Sutton is currently sleeping. I feel like that is the start of all of my vlogs is Sutton taking his first nap. I'm gonna be vlogging the next few days. We've got some warm weather coming up and that's really exciting because it's kind of like the first time we've seen warm weather, like some serious spring slash summer looking days here in Colorado. When Sutton wakes up from his nap, I'm going to take him over. We're gonna pick up some friends and we're actually gonna head down to this little museum. I have never been there before. It's like 10 or 15 minutes away, but it's like a little working farm that you can go see the animals. I've been trying to find activities to do with Sutton during his like midday wake window especially now that it's nicer outside that don't cost like so much money for us to do and apparently this little museum is like free or like two dollars to get into today i am wearing this old 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 t-shirt gosh i can't even remember how long i've had this t-shirt but i've had it for a very long time and i'm also wearing some biker shorts maybe i'm on the floor right now but maybe i can give you a little bump date 21 weeks currently it was still a little chilly this morning so i might be a little premature with my short sleeves and my biker shorts and I might have to throw on a sweater. It is the next day. Yesterday ended very interestingly. We came home from the little farm museum and Sutton actually decided to skip his second nap. And so we went a very long time without sleep and then we put him to bed around like 6 30 last night so kind of early and then he woke up at 3 30 this morning it has just been a very interesting past 12 to 18 hours we've been dealing with a very sleepy baby but that is okay i feel like he's either going through a sleep regression because he's learning how to walk right now or he's transitioning to one nap a day. I can't really tell. I feel like it's very hard on mornings like this when you're super tired as a mom to like get yourself ready. I'm even wearing a dress today, which is new. I have not worn a dress since Sutton was born, like a shorter dress. I've worn dresses like the ankle length or the middies, but this is a little bit shorter of a dress and I'm pregnant, so I feel like I don't have a lot of mobility. So we'll see how long I last in this dress today, but I wanted to feel cute to kind of like liven up my mood because I'm so tired this morning. So it is like 8.45, Sutton literally just went down for this nap and we've got some fun things that we wanna get done today. I really like to go to Target and look at their outdoor section because our backyard just kind of needs a little sprucing up for the warmer weather. I'd like to look at maybe like an outdoor rug or pillows or something to just bring a little bit of life outside. I also want to hit up the craft store, but maybe I can like kill two birds with one stone and get the stuff at Target, but I wanna get one of those bird houses that's just like the little basic wooden bird houses and do like a little craft with Sutton, maybe put like his handprints and stuff on and it. And then tonight we would actually really love to grill out. We planned on grilling out last night and making some kebabs and yummy food and Sutton was just not having it. So I'm hoping this sleep resets him. I might be trying to fit too much into one day, but we have some days ahead of us to do some activities it's 4 30 right now sam is about to throw dinner on the grill we are grilling out some kebabs and corn and i made a fresh salad because i felt like it was just such i don't know weather for fresh salad i just cut up some fresh cucumbers tomatoes and had some goat cheese and red onion i initially went to target today to try to find a birdhouse i kind of struck out at target they had some really cute bird feeders but they were almost too cute they weren't exactly what i was looking for they were more housey and not the feeder and i really wanted a feeder as well so when i went to trader joe's to pick up some stuff for dinner tonight i actually ended up going to the hardware store right next door and they had this really cool like double birdhouse with like this trough in between them where you can put seed. It's gonna be really cute. I'm gonna have like set and put, I think his like handprints all over it or something. Still light outside. We have a few more hours of light. We're gonna eat some dinner and then we're gonna try to do that craft. <laughs>
11 o'clock on Saturday morning. We have had such a sweet morning as a family. We started the morning off with this overnight French toast bake that I made last night. I've never actually made a French toast bake before, but it was so delicious and super easy to make. So I threw that together last night and put it in the fridge and then just popped it in the oven this morning. We actually slept in this morning until 5.30, which is late for us. We still have an early riser baby, but he slept in until 5.30. We slept until 5.30. This weekend is very warm. It is supposed to be 80 all weekend. I think right now it's 75 outside. It is a gorgeous day. We are going to go do some errands. We are probably going to go to like Home Depot or Lowe's and look at some gardening stuff. I'd like to start planning our garden. I don't know how big of a garden I'm going to do this year because obviously I'm having a baby in the middle of summer and gardens take a lot of work, but I want to do something small, I think. The birdhouse that we started yesterday is almost done. We rinsed off Sutton, we put the rope on the birdhouse to hang it onto the tree, and the second we're going to hang it to the tree, we realized we decorated the entire back of it. And so today I'm just gonna put like little dollops of paint on the front of it and just have Sutton go to town and just have fun with it. We were trying to do handprints, it did not work out that way. <laughs> It is Sunday. Yesterday ended up being a really weird day. Sutton started acting really strange when we were out doing some errands. Just kind of fussy and at first we kind of chalked it up to toddlerhood and him coming into like the toddlerhood era, but then he went down for his nap and his heart rate was kind of high during his nap, which usually indicates that he's not feeling very well. I was also kind of in a little bit of a funk. I feel like I've been going nonstop for the past few weeks and then I don't know if it was like pregnancy hormones or what but I was in this like weird emotional funk after we got home from errands and so we ended up taking the rest of the day to kind of decompress and just feel a little bit better. I'm such a naturally introverted person that whenever I feel like I'm in an emotional funk I really just need to like veg out and just chill and so we just made some burgers on the grill. Sutton woke up from his nap and he was feeling fine, he was acting fine, so we did get a chance to finish the birdhouse which is really exciting, we still have to hang that up. But yeah, I have been in this mood and it's like lasted into today of uh, just needing to like, I don't know, recharge myself. I've always had days like this but I feel like now that I'm a mom I have more days like this just because your cup is constantly empty and so I just needed to recharge myself. This morning was really great. We watched church online and then we went to a nursery and kind of looked around and I got some ideas for gardening stuff that I want to do here soon. And now I'm going to do some spring baking because if you know me you know that baking is like a total 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 picture. Me baking up. can get me out of any funky mood and so that is what I want to do right now I found a recipe for raspberry lemon muffins which just sounds really really good so it's about two o'clock right now and that is what I'm gonna do is bake some muffins <laughs> Baking is done. I have let my hair air dry today and I feel 
feels very grimy, but it's just one of those relaxing, minimal makeup, not really putting a lot of effort into life days. I'm starting to feel like myself again, so I'm starting to feel a little grimy, but that's okay. Those muffins turned out so, so, so good. I will link the recipe down below. Those are like the perfect spring muffins. I am always a sucker for like lemon and fruit mixed together. I also really love like lemon, lavender, blueberry type baked goods. I also feel like maybe my pregnant self is speaking a little bit right now, but we are going to eat an early dinner and because it is like 80 degrees outside, I think we're going to try to take the dog to the park and just kind of hang out as a family. I also really want to get that birdhouse hung up in our backyard and put some seed in it. It's Monday and I am feeling so much better today, so much more rejuvenated. Whenever I am just go, 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 it like hits me out of nowhere like a brick wall. I just get in this mood where I need to relax and hanging out with my family is seriously the best thing for me. And I know I hang out with my kid all the time because I'm a full-time stay-at-home mom. But truly, I felt so much better after we went to the park yesterday. And then when we hung up his little birdhouse in the backyard, it was just so fun. Things like that fill my mom heart up so much. I am feeling really rested. I got a good night of sleep and I am just feeling ready for the day, which is really great because it's Monday, so it is the beginning of the week. And I would really, really love to get this backyard done. I know I'm gonna be spending a lot of time with Sutton outside. He loves being outside. It makes him so joyful. And so I want our backyard and our back patio area to feel homey. I just want it to be a space where I feel like we can hang out for a long time and I don't feel like I have to take him to the park. So I want to get some stuff done for the backyard today. That is my number one goal. I feel like I've been striking out every time I try to go shopping to find stuff. Good morning, it's the next day. It's about 9.30 in the morning and I am actually about to head out to my anatomy scan right now. I know that I'm 22 weeks, but I'm doing this a little bit later because I actually had my scan scheduled two weeks ago when I was 20 weeks. But the ultrasound tech at my clinic ended up leaving last minute and taking a job in another state. And so I had to do an out of office ultrasound appointment and everybody was booked out. So that's why I'm a little bit late on my anatomy scan. But I thought this would be a super fun way to end this vlog because anatomy scans are just fun. They're just a fun part of pregnancy. back from my appointment. Baby boy looks healthy and good. It was the first time that I've ever had an OB come in after the ultrasound tech was done and kind of like go over everything with me. And it was very confirmational and encouraging. That was really nice because it was the first ultrasound that I've ever been to alone, but it was a good time. It took a long time, but it was a good time. I think that was a really fun and sweet way to end this vlog. I've never really been able to record an ultrasound before. So that was really fun. The tech was really awesome. And she kind of pointed everything out for it's me. making me so excited to see his little face. It was also the first time that they've ever done the 3D ultrasound. I never had that with Sutton. So it was so surreal to like see his little face. I feel like he has the same little nose as Sutton and I just can't wait to meet him. We still have so much to do in this house, so much to do for the baby, so much to do that I'm not really sure I'm gonna get it all done. Thank you guys for sticking around and having fun with me on these few spring days of my life. I love you and I will see you soon.